and welcome back to Shem you everybody I apologize about the last video I feel really bad um, kind of waited a long time for a new one and then you got one without commentary maybe some people preferred it I'm not sure however hopefully everything's recording this time now, when we last left off, we had to listen to a load of boring old tapes. We found no information whatsoever. This time, we have one tape left. Let's find out. What do you got for us, game? Oh. Very fancy. Don't push the record button. Um. Oh, I see. Holy crap, this is intense. Exactly. Oh, and I want the hills to be purple. Yes, yes, purple, did you say? What? Oh. Is there a problem? Not at all. Purple is a noble color. You seem to be smart. Thank you. Mm. Make sure to check the edge. I don't want a knife with a nicked edge. Yes, I, I, I see. I'll give you a call as soon as the knife is ready. Good. I'll be looking forward to it. <laughs> Jesus. Which is more important, me or work? I told wait, you already. Wait, what? You, of course. You're lying. I am not. Then why didn't you show up? I tried, but I couldn't. I'm dying to go back. I've already spent ten nights in my office. I can't believe <laughs> you. You're lying. No company would ask that much. What do you want me to do then? If you want to see me that much, why don't you come over to my office? Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Oh god, piss off. Typical, unreasonable. Oh. Well, that sounds dark. All right. What else have we got? Interesting. Police are searching for two men who apparently broke into the herbal medicine store Greatview Herbs in Kowloon's Greatview Building. The shop owner, Mr. Yang, was found tied up, but otherwise unharmed. Oh, I wonder who that was. One of the two men was wearing a blue jacket and a white bandana, while the other man wore a leather jacket and blue jeans. Really? Wonder who they could be talking about. No one comes to mind. Good game. Ooh. <laughs> Subtle Sega. Subtle. Advertising at its finest. All right. Anything else on this tape? I guess so. Hey, what is it with you? When will you have the stuff ready? Ah, hey, ah, hey. Not over the phone. What if it's tapped? Shut up. Since when were you in a position to speak like that to me? Huh. Who do you think you are your life to? <laughs> well, anyway, just give me some more time. As soon as the stuff's ready, I'll let you know. You better mm. be telling the truth. A lashing, eh? Jesus. Slow down there, mistress. Mr. Donu, I just sent a guy over. Have you told him the password? Yes, I told him. And did it seem that he knew where you want us to Well, that I don't know. What a fool! <laughs> 
<laughs> Whoa. Hmm. Sounds trustworthy. I like this whole setup. I like the uh, uh, Hatachi um, made in Japan tape player and everything. It's so realistic. <laughs> yeah, because it's that easy. <laughs> nice prank call. There's some dodgy shit going on down here. Really, people that stupid? Maybe. skills. Lovely woman. 
Ha! Huh. I guess everybody's intimidated by these guys. I found a very nice toy to play with. I'm asking you to find soon. Not yet. What? But I got one of his men. Ah, wait! Ah, wait! One of his men? It will get information on Soul's whereabouts. Smacked it on you. You're always in too much of a rush. Uh, yeah. She's not the only one. Uh, he's not the only one. It's impatient. But there isn't much time. Don't you worry. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I'll make the guy spill his guts. Really? Challenge accepted. <laughs> I got a parrot. He's nothing like that. I'd love it if he uh, chirped on about spilling people's guts. That'd be amazing. Hey. No one. Let me hear it again. One of his men. Did you get information on Sue's whereabouts? Smacked it on you. You're always in too much of a rush. I'm going to have some fun and make this guy talk. Wonder why there isn't much Don't time. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Yuan got a hold of Zhu's associate. Yuan. Yeah. Doesn't sound good. But Zhu doesn't know yet where Zhu is. Hmm. I'll find Yuan. It'll be too late if the guy spills the beans. There's no time to waste. We'll split up and search for you on. Okay. How the hell are we going to search for him? We don't know anything about him. Well, okay. I guess that's never stopped us before. Ryu is quite the detective. Certainly. Well, it's a nice uh, 10 past 10 a.m. on a crisp morning of February. Ooh. And we're in a whole new area that we don't know a lot about either. So I would say things have just got interesting. But these uh, these no good nicks seem to have a fairly large reach. To be expected, I guess. Right. Zoo's associate was captured by Yarn. Find her quickly with Ren's help. Hmm. Well, I guess she can't be too hard to track down. She has pissed a lot of people off. I don't think we're going to have a lot of luck around here. Here, my man. Uh, huh? Me? Come listen to one song. Yeah, I don't really have the time, but uh, sure. All right, then. I'd like to hear a tune. Now. Yes, buddy, now. It's beautiful. Love Chinese music. Traditional. By the way, you were in a hurry. I'm looking for a woman named Yuan. Well, as you can tell, I cannot see. Ah, I see, okay. Really? I'm blind, but the winds or the sounds may tell me what you need to know. Okay. Sound? There was a sound of a bell on the tape. Thank you very much. Um, do you know a place nearby where you can hear the ringing of a bell? I have heard a bell ring in the Moonchild building. Moonchild, eh? Moonchild We've been there, building. I think. Alright, thank you. Okay, well, we have our first solid clue. Excellent. What the hell is that guy peddling? Oh, gambling! What can we gamble? Uh, so the minimum... Oh! Max bet's 20 bucks. It's not really a lot, is it? Eh, what have we got to lose? 20 bucks. I think we can, uh, we can take that. 
We're bet on the moon as always. Stop by and have some fun. Uh, that's the plan, my friend. I'm with the plan. That's the spirit. Uh, that's the spirit indeed. Maximum. Ryu can handle it. Okay. Pick bet on the moon. Come on. Okay, here. Lucky moon. Come on, baby. Come on. <gasps> oh, yes. Lucky moon. Get in. <laughs> yeah, you'd think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, no. I'm good. I guess not. Luck is fleeting. Quit whilst you're ahead. Right, let's get out of here. Now, that was a nice little win. 80 bucks. So, the Moon Child Building. I hmm, can't really remember where that was. We might have to follow somebody. I, I know it was... I know we've bumped into it. I don't think it was in the Thousand White Quarter, though. As I've said, it's... Um, apart from a quick video that fucked up uh, the other day, I haven't played this for... Well, since the second and it's now what the ninth damn I haven't played this for a week <sighs> do you know what I hate I hate it when life gets in the way of video games and yeah I appreciate that's a really stupid thing to say but it's certainly true now where are we going that's the oh, that's the ghost hall building We've already kicked his ass a fair few times. Let's ask this lady. Oh, God. It's going to take hours. Yes. I like that. She says that and then walks off. We want the Moon Child Building. I want to go to the Moon Child Building. Ah, the Moon Child Building, huh? Uh-huh. Like I'll go with you. I'm going near there. Excellent. Thank you for doing me a favor. I thought you might. I like that. She says she was going there. <laughs> but she was actually walking the opposite direction. Oh boy, this could take some time. That's okay. What are these idiots doing? They're walking in our way. Get out of the way, dumbass. I'm walking here. Hopefully it might actually be that building there that we're next to. That would be something. What is that one? No, that's the Thousand White building. Well, can't win them all. I guess we have just used a big chunk of luck. Oh, is it really? Is it through the ghost hall building? No, she's just taking a strange racing line. Alright, whatever works in your head, lady. Hang on, where are you going now? Damn it, Ryu. God damn it, Ryu. Look at the back of her head. There we go. Oh, yes, of course. Down this little street. How silly of me. I read the map good. <sighs> I wish we could just, I don't know, give her a can of monster or something. Get her going. Kickstart the old thing. Now, I've been to London and my god I tell you what people move quickly in London uh, after living in Cornwall for so long um, <laughs> it's a much uh, slower pace down here and I've pretty much lost my London accent as well which uh, displeases me greatly I love the London accent my friend Zenon has a very um, kind of London accent and yeah I love it it's so good she always sounds like a freaking gangster. Now here we have some quality music. Oh yes. I could listen to this all day. Come on, love. Let's keep this going. Dude, have a bath. Look at the state of him. Looks like a bum. Maybe he is. 
I fail to believe there is any society on this planet that walks at this speed. It just, you wouldn't get anything done. You'd have died of old age by the time you get anywhere. This guy's moving at some speed. At least you get a good time, a good chance to look around. I suppose. I am curious. It does look like these other guys walk faster. So I think the old people. Yeah, although slowly we are outpacing the little kid there. Uh, we have some confusion. Okay. I did think she was going to overtake the kid. Out of the way. Maybe kids walk slower. But then I wouldn't feel comfortable following a kid around. Yeah, people could get the wrong idea there. My god, do these drones know where they're going? Oh, man. Okay. Small dragon building. It's that one. Blue dragon garden. Uh, yeah, my accent's kind of really neutralized. Moonshell building. Brilliant lady. Thank you. Building. It's kind of blended into a mix of a few different um, English varieties. I've absorbed a lot of Cornish, unfortunately. <laughs> Lots of ooars. Come okay, on. Right, so now we should have the sound of a bell around here somewhere. In theory. Hey, love, have you heard a bell? May I ask you something? Or yes, that. Ah, that's um, very nice of you. Uh, bell ring, please. Do you know a place where the ringing of a bell can be heard? The ringing of a bell? Maybe you're talking about the orphanage. I maybe. I have no idea. The orphanage? Yeah, sometimes you can hear the sound of a bell coming from there. Yeah. The orphanage? Thanks. Yes, Reed, the orphanage. Okay, let's ask her um, about Yuan. Have you seen a person called Yuan? What? Yuan. You mean that strange woman with the yellow head? Ah, the yellow head. Do you know her? What's that? I think there's something wrong with her, but he always goes to Night Master in the Thousand Light Building. Ooh, okay. I heard she was a knife collector. Everyone's scared of her. Yeah, my ex was a knife Thank collector you. too. She collected Zippo's knives. Um, okay, excellent luck electronics. Jeez, that's a brand you can put a warranty on. My god, what are you selling in there, buddy? Excuse me. Yes, welcome. Uh, have you seen a person called Yuan? What kind of a person is she? Oh, she's lovely. She's a woman from the yellow head who has a really annoying voice. <laughs> with the yellow head. Uh-huh. She's often at a knife shop in the Thousand White Building, so you mustn't go there. I, I see. see. Okay. So, what else have we got here? Starlight Electronics. Do they spark like the stars, do they? Moonchild Electronics. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Right, so let's go exploring Pub Moonchild. Excellent. I have a warm sake, please. No? Oh, there is actually a barman there. I don't think they'll let Ryu, uh, Ryu drink. Okay, so where are we now? Is this... Yes, yeah, so this is still the Moonchild building. It is kind of confusing. Once you're inside one of these buildings, because they all kind of connect together. We want the Thousand White building, or the Yellow Head. Uh, what's that? Golden Flower. No, that's no good. Is this connected to another one? Black Heaven building. Ooh. <whistles> Sounds good. I'll take one. Alright. 
nothing good so far. God of wealth building. Yeah. Get the feeling that that's not all it seems. Right, let's get out of here and go back to the Thousand White building. Now, the Thousand White building was actually, ironically, the way we all, we came back in the Thousand White quarter. But that's okay. And that's where, what do they say? That's where the knife shop is. Hmm. Interesting. Nice to see a, a blacksmith. I actually, um... Uh, when I go to Scotland, hopefully later in this year, I want to pass by the Royal Armoury uh, in London. And it actually has a really old um, Royal English blacksmith there. Uh, it's actually a weaponsmith. And they make um, reinforced English parry blades. And I do want to pick one of those up. All handmade with um, reinforced 410 aircraft grade steel. Oh, yeah. Really want one of those. I mean, it's great for opening letters with, right? Not that you really get letters anymore, everything's digital. Ah, find a use for it. Slice ham, maybe. Now, we're back. We're still in the wrong place. There's a tea house. This is where Joy is. Okay. I feel like I'm going around in circles. Probably because I am. Three bird build. Ah, the three bird building. I believe, actually, you can find out some information in there. But only if you've already discovered the said information. Um, because, obviously, she has a bird. Um, here we are. Thousand white quarter. Very tempted as well to pick up a, um, a British longsword. Uh, well, English technically. And a English bastard sword as well. But I, last time I looked, I think the bastard sword was about £650. So, yeah, maybe not. The parry blade's 280 You have to order it as well because they custom make it for you. Now, oh my, I can't wait to actually do that. Go out there, pick out all my finishes and coatings and everything. Thousand white building, here we are. We're actually almost out of time. <laughs> That's one problem with Shemu, you can spend a lot of time not really doing much. But that's... <sighs> It kind of doesn't make sense, but it's one of the enjoyable things about the game. A lot of people say it's slow-paced and it's boring. Uh, I I get what they're saying, but to me it isn't. I just enjoy it. I really feel like you're exploring a town. Tiger's Eye, military surplus. Lots of military surplus, surplus here. I used to spend loads of money in our military surplus. Um, in a town called Red Ruth, which is where I used to live before I moved to Truro. Um, and then, unfortunately, they started shutting down all the military surplus stores. I can't remember why, either. There was a big reason behind it, but... They had some really cool... Um, uh, they had an SAS uh, combat knife in there that I wanted. But unfortunately, a combat knife is kind of a useless tool if you're not actually in combat. Excuse me. Huh? Designed for one thing and one thing only is to kill someone. Whereas a survival knife you can use for anything. Hello. Um, hello, welcome. Every weapon we carry is of the absolute best craftsmanship. Well, I should hope so. Would you like to buy one? Yes, Sorry. I would. I'll come back some other time. I would love to buy one. However, the game's not going to let me. Really? Can I not talk to any of you guys? Excuse me. What is it? None of these guys are going to um, let me ask him. There we go. This guy. Right. Knife shop. 
I'm looking for a knife shop. That's my store. What can I do for you? Okay. Are there any other knife shops? That's also the place next door. I don't know that place very well. The next door, and you don't know them very well. Thank you. I don't really have much interest in talking to other people, you see. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, guys. Well, at least we're finally in the right building anyway. Now, I have to unfortunately save the game uh, and end the video. I've got to brave the uh, storm Imogen. So that's going to be fun. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And when we come back, I guess we're going to finally find the right knife shop.